Hey y'all, I'm outside. Yes, I am. And I want to show you what I'm doing out here. Real simple today. That is our word for the day. Simple y'all. Look at those hamburgers. We have some franks to go on here. Yes. I forgot to move it. Okay, because I got one more hamburger to put on here. Now I seasoned this side. Okay, I didn't season when they were be before I put them on here. And y'all see this little grill I got? It's brand new, y'all. Calvin bought it from me. Yes, he did. He got rid of his old big one and replaced it with this for me. I have always liked the grill, y'all. Always. This one here I put on last, but it's going okay. Look at that, y'all. Is it gorgeous or what? We're going to put this one on here right up front. Yes, they are frozen hamburgers, y'all. That's how simple. Okay. And we're going to put a little bit more salt on this side. Okay, just a little. We don't want them too salty, right? And then we're going to put a little bit. I got flour. Not flour, y'all. I got pepper and some granulated garlic. That's it. I'm seasoning them with just a little seasoning, y'all. Just a little bit. Okay, these will not take long. This is the garlic. Mm-hmm, all right. See, quick. That's what I like about hamburgers and hot dogs. They're quick, yes. Cause you don't want to cook them to death, but we do like I was done. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna let this do its thing. Moving them back a little bit. All right. Be done real soon. All right, y'all. Let's get on this simple coleslaw, and I mean simple, okay? I'm using a bag of pre-cut cabbage and carrots okay this is a 16 ounce bag that i'm using all right yes not gonna do much right but put this together and it's simple to put together what we're gonna do is we're first going to make our little sauce here mixture to go in our cabbage for our coleslaw, all right? I'm gonna use three fourth cups of mayonnaise. Any mayonnaise of your choice? Yes, three fourth cups. And we're just gonna mix all of this in one bowl. Did I get my sour cream, y'all? Three fourth cups, put a little bit more in there. And I'm just gonna reach from the sour cream. All right, open it up. Thought I had it out. Thought I had it out, y'all, but it's all good, all right? Let's see, here's our sour cream. Sour cream. And the sour cream that we're going to add is one third cup of sour cream. Okay, and we're just going to add it to our mayonnaise, although I don't want to stick, stick the same spoon in there. So I'm going to put this mayonnaise right in here and we'll get it all out. Okay. Let's get another spoon here and we're going to put in our sour cream, one third cup. This is so simple, y'all. You can have some coleslaw made in no time. One third. Although I got one of these cups that are not quite leveled. That's enough right there. And we're gonna mix these two. And we're also gonna put in, let's put this up here where you can see it. I got a spatula to help me get this out of here. 
Y'all, it is so beautiful here today. It is not hot. Put that in the sink. It is just gorgeous. It's a little nip in the air, a little nippy, but it is gorgeous. All right, I'm just using my spatula to get this out of here, all right? All right, that's the mayonnaise and the sour cream. Okay, and to this, we're gonna add, I have one tablespoon of sugar, okay? Because I don't want it real sweet. I'm gonna put that in there, help it dissolve a little bit. We're also going to put two tablespoons. I really don't even want two. I'm gonna use one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. All right. We are going to put in one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. All right, Dijon. Let's shake that mustard up so the water won't come out of it, hopefully. One tablespoon. Yes, good stuff. And the last thing that I'm going to put right in here is we're going to put some um, celery seed. Okay, now I'm going to use, we're not big on celery seed, y'all. So I'm going to put one fourth. If you want more, use more. Okay, I'm just going to put a fourth of a teaspoon in mine. All right. And we're going to give this a really good stir. Really good, y'all. And then we just mix this up. And we'll add, you know, some salt. We're going to add some pe pepper. And we're going to add a little bit of dry parsley. That's it. That's all. That's simple. This sauce looks good, y'all. It does. All right. Let's pour it into our coleslaw. And see, we can have this coleslaw with our Franks. Put it right on top. Slaw dog. Let me get my spatula back here. Because we want to get all of this out. Yes, we do. Okay. Clean that bowl. All right. And then we're going to put in a little bit of salt. And I'm going to use some sea salt here. Just a little bit of it, not a lot. But you know, you use as much as you want. All right. And then I have some pepper. And I have the larger ground pe pepper. I'm going to be careful with this because I'm going to pour it here. Very careful. And some dry parsley. And that is your coleslaw, y'all. That's simple. That's your coleslaw. Dry parsley. Okay? Just because I want it in there. That's it. I think we got everything here. Take and give it a good stir. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna cover this with a piece of plastic and I'm gonna stick it in the fridge until we're ready to eat it, which won't be long from now, but we'll let it get a little chill on it. It's, you know, if you wanna cut up your own ca cabbage, which I have, and your own carrots, you can. It's nothing better than it being fresh, right? But I want to keep it very simple today. I didn't want to have to do much of anything. This is a lazy day, y'all. Lazy day, Sunday dinner. All right, y'all. That's it. That's your coleslaw. All right. We're going to be right back with that cucumber tomato salad. 
All right, y'all, we are back with another. If you thought the coleslaw was simple, this is even more simple, y'all. Okay, I have some cucumbers here that I have peeled. Well, I washed them first, cut them up, okay? I peeled it and cut it up. That's one large cucumber there. And then I had three tomatoes, okay? And all I did was cut them. Cut off that little tip there. Can y'all see? Let's make sure y'all can see me put this easy salad together, okay? And then I stand it up, cut it twice this way, twice this way, and it's juicy, y'all. These are some juicy. You see all the juice on this board? They are juicy. And then I just take, lay it on the side and cut them, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect. And I could feel when I got down there to that little end there. And I just take and cut it off the end. See, because it's already cut. I pre-cut it, right? This over here is trash. And this goes in. Can y'all see my bowl there? Got a big piece here. Okay, there we go. Let's get them in. It's a lot of juice. These are some beautiful tomatoes, y'all. Let's hope they're real. They are absolutely gorgeous. That juice is from three tomatoes. All right, and now I'm going to peel really quick. I got a napkin here so I can get some of this juice. We're gonna take and we're gonna peel this cucumber really quick, okay? I'm gonna show you how I peeled it. And I'm peeling it, you know, very thinly. I don't wanna cut off more cu cucumber than I need to. And the reason why I do half and half like this, I'll turn around and do the other half because it's just easier for me. All right, got a little bad spot there. Now we're gonna get out here and check this grill. This meat should be close to being done. All right, that easy. And I take and split it down the middle. This one doesn't look as good as the last one, but that's okay. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, not making a mess. I'm gonna pick this up right here. That was, th those were some juicy tomatoes that kind of made a mess. And I'm just cutting down the center, all right? And slicing it as, you know, as big or as little as you'd like, as thick or as thin as you like. This is a simple but delicious salad, y'all. I've got some fresh parsley here to go in it. Cut this again here. That simple, okay? Let me rinse my hands. Cause we are done with the messy, messy. All right. I'm gonna take and add just a couple of seasonings here, y'all. To this beautiful, easy salad, we're gonna put in two tablespoons of white vinegar. Now, you can use the red wine vinegar, I don't have any. Let's put it this way, I didn't even look. Okay, gotta have the vinegar though. All right, that gives it that that tanginess, yes. Okay, we're gonna put in a little bit of basil, about an eighth, this is a fourth here. So we'll 
Well, actually, I don't even have to do that. I'm just going to sprinkle some basil in. That's dry basil. And that's about, that's about an eighth of a teaspoon there, okay? I'm going to put in a little bit of avocado oil. You can use olive oil, any kind of oil you want. All right. And let's measure this out as well. Put in two tablespoons of this. Mm. Beautiful stuff, y'all. Beautiful stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. And then I have my, can't forget about our red onions. I took and cut up uh, about a third of a large red onion. That's going in. I need a spoon, y'all. I didn't even get a spoon. And then our fresh parsley. We're going to put some salt. We'll use that same sea salt. We're going to put some pe pepper. Let's put that back on there. Same pepper. Okay, let's just, and our fresh parsley, I just took some leaves off of the stems, cut it up, try to cut it up really small, and we're going to stir this together. That's it, y'all. That, oh my goodness, and it smells wonderful. Now tell me that's not easy. With those hamburgers and those franks out there. Yes, yes, yes. Doesn't get any more simple, y'all. All right, that's it. That's all. Beautiful, right? Yes. I'm going to cover this one as well. Put it in the fridge until we're ready to eat. We'll check on that meat, y'all, and dinner will be done. All right, y'all, I just wanted to give you another quick look before I pull these beautiful hamburgers off. And these hamburgers come from Sam's, okay? Yes, the, the, the Franks are, or hot dogs, whichever you want to call them, came from, came from Sam's as well to cover that pan there. And see, it only takes a few minutes. It doesn't take long for these to cook. Yeah. All right, y'all, I'll see y'all back inside. All right, y'all, we are back. Yes, I wanted to show you these hamburgers and Frank's, y'all. I know the camera's crooked. Yes, we are going to enjoy these off of that grill, y'all. Yes, ain't nothing better than a grilled hamburger and Frank or hot dog, whatever you want to call them, okay? We're going to enjoy with those two salads we have. Simple, yes. Y'all, thank you for joining me once again on a Sunday for Sunday's dinner, okay? Y'all remember to like, share comment and subscribe to my channel if you have not okay and i'm gonna see you real soon on my next video bye bye y'all